Hey guys, so we're back with this GB70 with the fuel gauge issue. So the part came in. Um, I called the fuel tank, right? Because we cannot, I can't see any separate part for that uh, other sending unit or the fuel sub uh, level sensor. And when I checked the new part, that fuel level sensor is part of the fuel tank. So if you have issue with the um, with the other sender unit, um, that's gonna be another um, big job because it needs a fuel tank. So anyway, I'm just, before I'm gonna do the repair, our check engine light is on on this one, and our fuel level, I just wanna put a note there that it's half on the, uh, between E and quarter, right? So um, last time, every time we checked this vehicle, uh, we thought that it's less than half and every time we open the fuel pump um, there's a lot of fuel there so I'm gonna remove it because we're gonna transfer the tank or the fuel pump on the new tank so I'm gonna remove those stuff there before I'm gonna drop the whole fuel tank assembly alright guys so I remove our lock ring here just do a quick look here uh, there's some fluid there looks like a half on the way I see it right so um, um, I'm gonna drain the fluid here I still have to figure out which bucket or container that I have to drain it and then we'll get back once I'm gonna start lowering this fuel tank because um, as per the service information I think I don't have to remove anything in the subframe area or the differential rear there's some models in the genesis you have no choice but to move those because there's no space in this case here i think i just have to remove the exhaust assembly the propeller shaft and whatever covers there and then we can start removing this tank and we'll see and then we'll get back okay so um i can't really find a good clean uh, container so i'm gonna use our new tank here. I'm just gonna drain some. I'm gonna use the old style of removing this fluid by siphoning this guy here. And at least we can remove most of out of this fluid there as much as possible. Right? So let me try this. Okay. So let's see this guy. I just want to remove some of the fluid before I remove this. I can also do this when the fuel tank is out already, but let's just do this. And also, let's say if you don't have this, there's a lot of options. Yeah, I guess there's some good equipment there that, you know, to take out some fluids. Okay, I think that's about it. It ran out now. Okay, that's quick. Let me see the inside here. Okay, that's yeah, that's empty, empty. That's good. Okay, so now let me just take this guy out here. The skin, because when I measure the resistance on this one, as for the service information, the when it's the sending unit is empty, it's around 174 to 176 ohms, right? and that varies so that's why you have that range and i want to compare on this guy here when it's empty empty and what's the resistance value for that because um because right now we're suspecting the other side of the fuel sending unit right so yeah let me do the removal on this guy um what else am i removing because when i got this box here this guy was bent like that so as you can see there, that's kink in this side here. So I have to remove that, this side here. So that's gonna be underneath our hose here for the filler neck. And that's it. So yeah, let's see later. All right guys, so we're gonna remove this tank now. There's five mounting bolts on this one. So I'm gonna lower it slowly. 
and there's one there's gonna be one line here I don't know if you guys can see that there's one line here because the other line is gonna be connected on the rear reserve room. so I'm planning to remove it through here because I, I can't really reach my hand in the other side so just be careful oh my Okay, I can take that out. Okay, okay, that's good. So now, oops, you just have to be careful because, okay, there's another 14 here. I'm gonna remove the whole strap on it. slowly it's gonna be straightforward lower no movement it's just our oops it's slowly oops there's another line there okay no there's no line there I have to lower this more. And then lower this more. Okay, I need a line for this. So this is what I'm talking about. So that's what I'm talking about. There's another line there, but I can't really squeeze those um, release tabs there. That's why we went on the front one. So you lower a little bit of the tank you can access this guy here okay so what we're gonna do is I have, I have to remove this guy but I have to remove the connections first and put it there and then let's try to measure that uh, resistance value on the other side of the sending unit okay so I remove our tank uh, let's see I know there's some fluid still in there but we should be able to see what we have here that's the original tank or no, the brand new one and measured 174 ohms this guy let's see what we have here 175 hmm huh. unless it's because I can't really check that maybe the range right something on the something in here something in this side in the middle side right so right now we're just checking the empty side so what if our issue is in the be in between of it so um yeah uh, we will find that out until i'm gonna put that new fuel tank there in here and see unless i'm gonna cut this and see that sending unit itself but i don't want to really do that I don't know why they design it like this. Um, you can't really access that other unit or other sensor. But anyway, I'm gonna put our new tank, put everything back together, and let's see what will be the result in our 
um, fuel level gauge on the cluster because the last time we checked it was ha uh, in between the porter and empty i think so yeah let me put everything back together and let's get back to it all right guys so we're on our way again to the gas station um so i put everything back together clear the code so so far our gas there almost empty i didn't fully remove all the gas there um so i also grab our scan tool right um so right now it's reading around 20 20 to 23 so i don't know why is it moving like that but i know the other side of the tank that's fully empty so that could be a factor there maybe that level um gauge there is moving around so but we'll see i'm gonna do slowly when filling up this um, vehicle and let's see okay so we're right now at 24 percent oh man i didn't bring my jacket it's kind of windy right now so i know i just leave the ignition on there so let's see here now my fuel is rising up Thirty percent. I'm gonna stop a little bit when maybe at twenty dollars. So my gauge there too is going up slowly. That's right now in the quarter. I'm gonna wait until it goes half there. My scantle is reading around 48. Okay, I'm gonna stop that a little bit for now. So it's staying at 46 there. Okay. So I'm filling up and still start at 46. Went to 48, 50, okay, 51. I'm gonna stop for now. Right now, that's 53 there. That's half. So let me put in a full and let's see. Because the problem before was when it's on below half, that's the time it shows the issue, but intermittent. So I'm gonna put it in full and see. Oh, that's cold, man. So So the pump just stopped at 55 liters on my scan tool. It shows 93% there in our cluster. It shows full. So let's start this vehicle. Okay, so I'm just driving right now. Even road along the street. And I don't know if this is normal. Like my percentage of fuel it's jumping around 89 to 95 and earlier I noticed when I was turning going to the right like it dropped to 88 so I'm gonna try turning and see because I don't know if that's supposed to be normal is it the level sensor so sensitive that every bumps that does that and right now it stays at 95% Okay, I'm gonna turn right here. See, you see that drop? Turning right. I don't know if, but I feel this gas tank to full though. So that 
that level sensor should not move around. I wonder if turning left is the same. And I don't remember during my testing if I graph my fuel level sensor here in the scantle and wiggle the wires. I'm not sure. So I'm gonna turn left. Turning left doesn't do anything. I'm gonna go right. Yeah, right. Just drops a little bit. Right again. Drop a little bit. Can go turn left now again. And see. Nothing turning left. See that straight line? Sometimes it goes turn left. No left. Okay, drop there. Turn left. Okay. I'm gonna turn left again and see if it drops. No, it didn't drop there. Turning left drops a little bit, but not the same as turning right. Um, let me stop on the side. Maybe just move around on the seat. Let's see if it does something on our signal here in our scan tool. So let me put in park. So park our signal, just straight line, 95%. I'm gonna do like this. Move the car. No, doesn't do anything. Let me get out of the car. Let me move the car sideways back and forth. Okay, so it's a little bit there, but I think maybe it's the movement of the fluid and the tank. So Okay, um, I'm not gonna go crazy on it unless unless this car will come back, but hopefully not because I don't want to see this car anymore. So I'm gonna go back to the shop, um, explain to our advisor that um, let the customer monitor this for now and see. Uh, maybe after a week, after two weeks, we will follow up the, with the customer and everything. if everything is good, um, I'll be happy with that. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm going to release this vehicle. Yeah, and thank you again for watching and see you next time. Alright guys, so update. Um, so far, the car didn't came back for that fuel level sensor issue so <clears throat> we're gonna i was planning to take it apart and see but it's too much hassle so i just want to check again our resistance on this one oops and when i measured it it's showing oh well i think i rem if i remembered correctly the resistance when I said when I compared the new one was 175 ohms and when I was checking this on the what do you call that then the jack or the transmission jack I was reading 175 but right now it's showing oh well so <clears throat> I'm pretty confident now that our issue was on the other level sensor so it's just an update um, so um, it, were, it, it would be great if I can just take and maybe make a hole here and check it and see but I want to check the camera there um, and the plastic here is too thick so I don't know what can cut here and I don't want to you know use a grinder because it can create spark 
and there's fuel still in here so yeah so it's just an update um yeah thanks again